Good morning. Unitic here. It's uh, at 7.30 a.m. on uh, Friday, September 6th. And as you can tell from my attire, fall has started to appear here in Vermont. I uh, just hit the trail about 15 minutes ago and uh, have a magnificent morning. Did get chilly last night. Probably down in the mid 30s, upper 30s, right around in there. They had a frost warning. So leaves are gonna be turning soon, but it was a great day of hiking yesterday. I hiked up over Killington Mountain, outside of Killington, Vermont. And actually I'm hiking a trail now that uh, I've hiked before 10 years ago. I uh, did the first couple of hundred miles of a trail called the Long Trail. That's the oldest long distance trail, named long distance trail in the United States. It goes back to the Green Mountain Boys in the Revolutionary War. Using this trail to come down and assemble and attack the British. Um, and actually the Long Trail, uh, the designers of it and the history of it were kind of an inspiration to a guy named Benton McKay, who first came up with the idea of the Appalachian Trail. And the story goes he had that inspiration on a mountain in Vermont called Stratton Mountain that I will go over in a couple of days. Um, I climbed it 10 years ago in uh, late July of 2003. And I just stayed last night at uh, what uh, is believed to be the second oldest shelter on the Appalachian Trail, built in the 1930s, Gov Governor Clement's shelter. It's the first time I've stayed near a shelter because I hammock camp, but it's nice to be near the shelter where they have a privy, an outhouse. And it was a beautiful setting right by a stream. Um, when I stayed there 10 years ago, in late July, it was packed. There was a group of long trail hiking ladies there kind of having a celebration because they were finishing up a section that completed their 265 mile long trail odyssey. And I remember it was hot and I had done a little over 19 miles to get to that shelter going the opposite direction I am now. Back then I was going from Massachusetts toward Canada to the north. Oh. And they gave me and a hiking friend I'd met that day a cold Corona. <laughs> and some of their food, just really, really kind. Trail angels, we call them. The trail provides, as they say. Um, you see the very best in human nature out here. And uh, I'm going to kind of recreate that hike today. Right. In the next 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna go over the 500 mile mark for this trip, Yeehaw! which feels pretty darn good. It's been tough, 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 but, uh, but that, that's a kind of a important milestone for me. I also found out yesterday that it looks like the American Long Distance Hikers Association, who are having their annual meeting in, uh, at Shippingsburg University in Pennsylvania, really close to where I'll be on the trail around October the 11th, have agreed to allow me to do a presentation to long distance hikers from all over the US. They call this the gathering, do it every year, on tick-borne diseases. So I'm real excited about that. You know, just another opportunity to work on the mission of this hike beyond just having fun is to uh, spread the word on the facts as I know them from uh, hard-earned experience about tick-borne diseases and Lyme disease in general. So I'm very excited about that. So today I'm going to go over 500 miles. I'm going to attempt to do my first 20 plus mile day of this trip. Now that I've got some terrain that cooperates, I figured if I could do it 10 years ago, I could do it today with 500 miles under my belt. So I'm real excited about that. And uh, on that day, 
when I was hiking this stretch, I was hiking with a friend that I just met the night before at the campsite I'm going by on this stretch, um, Little Rock Pond. Her trail name was T-Hip Chick, <clears throat> and we'd met at Little Rock Pond Shelter that night. Um, her given name is Laura Stevenson, and Laura, if you happen to see this, get back in touch with me at unitic2013 at gmail. Laura and I kept in touch for years after that hike. We knew each other for less than 24 hours. And uh, that's kind of the way it is out here on the trail. People get to know each other very quickly when we're not putting all those artificial barriers of livelihood and status and education and where you live. All that created personality stuff that uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not really who we are. It's a little easier to meet people, <clears throat> the real for folks, when you're just out here in the woods enjoying something and sharing something and, and being, uh, being open to each other. Excuse me, passing an ancient rock wall, not ancient, but uh, these rock walls in Vermont probably go back to the 1700s which is kind of cool. Anyway, Laura, if you see this, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you again. Laura sent me postcards from some of her exotic trips. Trips. I remember getting one from Yugoslavia. And uh, the day after we met, she was section hiking, doing a piece of the AT. And I wound up hiking on ahead. Stayed a night at the Long Trail Inn, which uh, I skipped this time for budget reasons and mileage reasons. I need to cover some ground. <clears throat> they uh, pride themselves on pouring the perfect Guinness with a clover leaf in the foam. And I paid the bartender to uh, have one on me for Laura. And the next day she came through there and a few weeks later I got a picture photograph in the mail from Laura drinking that Guinness with a couple of of other hikers we met, young guys, Dr. Bong and Spliffy. I'll let you guess where those trail names came from. But uh, all kinds of people out here. Anyway, just kind of wanted to take you along on this stretch with me. Having a good day today. Covered uh, two 16s and a 14 in my three full days in Vermont. And uh, with a 20 plus that I'll do today, I feel confident I'll get done. I'll be over halfway through Vermont, about 150 miles um, of trail in Vermont. And uh, I should be in Massachusetts next Thursday is my plan. And uh, tomorrow I'll hitchhike into a little town called Danby and uh, pick up a resupply at the post office there. Thanks to Kevin for mailing that to me, and that'll get me the rest of the way through Vermont. So I'm getting ready to go down some steep stuff now. I'm gonna need both poles, but uh, just wanted to check in with you. Good stuff happening, body's holding up well, and I'm really excited about being able to present at the American Long Distance Hikers Association. And uh, excited to meet my friend Bambi Albert too from the Lyme community. Bambi lives in Wingap, Pennsylvania, and uh, she's been organizing some of her Lyme warrior friends um, to get together and meet and, uh, and maybe speak with some reporters there and continue to try to get this message out. My tagline that I signed in all the registers is ticks bite, Lyme sucks, and boy it sure does. It's a lot more serious than, uh, than many people have been led to believe, and we're going to try and get that information out there. For this morning, this is Unitic signing off.